Alright, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to talk about natural deodorant real quick because I don't think I've ever actually done a video on natural deodorant before. So these are just two brands and this one I've had for so long that the, um, the design is actually coming off. But this one I keep in my makeup bag for emergencies and I ordered this from an individual seller off of Etsy. And it's been a really good deodorant. It has grapefruit essential oils in it. And it's made with like baking soda and coconut oil. Uh, and a couple of other things. Very all natural ingredients. And this one is very chalky. But it's also very effective. And it's lasted me a very long time. But again, I got this off Etsy. And a lot of Etsy sellers. Um, you know, even like Amazon stores, eBay stores. You can find pretty affordable, natural, high quality deodorants. That are going to be so much better for you than deodorants that you might find at the drugstore which are going to contain a whole lot of chemicals and aluminum because you don't want that so and then secondly this one is one of my favorites my second favorite is toms of maine they also have toothpaste and some other things but their deodorant is really awesome this one is just the arm and hammer essentials with natural deodorizers free of aluminum parabens and phthalates rosemary lavender is the scent and so this deodorant, it lasts me a long time as well. And it's just really effective. The thing about natural deodorant is you do have to apply it more often, but it's so worth it to know that you're not putting the toxicity on and in your body because your armpits are very susceptible. There are so many pores and so many lymph nodes, especially if you're a female and you shave your armpits, you're gonna be more susceptible to these chemicals penetrating through your skin and you know whatever gets on our skin ultimately small amounts will go into our bloodstreams so very important to remember this but the arm and hammer is a really good brand i also recommend their um, laundry detergent and other products as well baking soda baking soda is so powerful as a deodorizer so it's in a lot of deodorants and natural deodorants essential oils coconut oil coconut oil in and of itself is also a really good deodorant if you apply it directly to the armpits some people will actually make their own deodorant out of nothing but coconut oil baking soda and essential oils or whatever so the thing is with essential oils you do want to be super careful with the armpits because especially if you shave the skin can get very sensitive and it can burn really bad if you're not using diluted oil you know and using it in the proper way so definitely be mindful and careful of that if you're planning on making your own deodorant paste or what have you so again these are just two very basic affordable types of deodorant but if you haven't already definitely consider switching yourself to natural deodorant because deodorant that's not natural and that contains aluminum can be very bad for you and you know, it's aluminum and the deodorant has been linked to breast cancer and particularly, especially the um, aerosol spray-on deodorants, which most people don't use those. I think those are mostly a thing of the past, but some people do still use those and I do still see those occasionally in stores. So you want to be very mindful of that because those are the very worst deodorants that you can use. The main ingredient that is in those deodorants is known as aluminum chlorohydrate, I believe. And that is um, strongly linked to breast cancer. And like I say, those lymph nodes are right there underneath those armpits. And that can get into all your vital organs and be very bad for you. So, you know, and then you have things like a secret deodorant. And, you know, they say like, oh, clinical strength or whatever. But then it's got like all this aluminum in it. And like I say, you just don't want that going into that skin right there where all those lymph nodes are. Because eventually over time, that can definitely lead to cancer honestly so I'm just gonna put it out there and just tell it like it is because that's exactly what happens so um I hope this video helps and like I say if you haven't considered switching deodorant definitely think about that and think about all the other personal care products that you are using as well 